Hello everyone, welcome back. I know after we did the live last week with Leah, who is an online marketing coach, if you haven't seen that, make sure you check it out after you watch this video. We had talked about this app, Clubhouse. This is a really cool app that entrepreneurs can use to grow and market, but it's also an app that you can just use to learn and to connect and to network and pretty much anything. It's really, really cool. So in today's tutorial, we're going to be talking about what Clubhouse is, how to use Clubhouse, how to set up a club, different ways that you can use it, the different features of it. We're really going to break down like everything in this app. It is a complete tutorial. Things have changed. A lot of the videos that you see on YouTube right now are older. A lot of things have changed, so I'm really, really excited to talk about this with you. Welcome to my channel, everyone. If you don't know me, my name is Jillian from JillianShanahan.com, and on this channel, we talk about ways that online teachers can accelerate their income. If you're not an online teacher, that's okay. Everything in this video is still going to be applicable to anybody that wants to use Clubhouse. And. <laughs> And I just had to go and grab my puppy because he was barking because, you know, heaven forbid there are like cars driving down my street. If you haven't already, make sure you hit subscribe and click that little bell notification if you are interested in learning different ways that you can accelerate your income, especially as an online teacher. All right, so here we go. Like I said, today we're going to be talking about the app Clubhouse and how yeah. you can use it. So Clubhouse is pretty cool. Um, it's kind of a combination between a chat room and a podcast. So when you go into Clubhouse, it's almost like listening to a podcast, but you can participate in it. It's voice only, so you're not gonna be texting. It's really, really cool. The other thing is that it's private. So, or I guess as private as um, something that you're putting out there for the public can be, right? So it's a little bit more private. It's against the terms of service to record any of you know, any of the rooms. So I'm not actually gonna go into a screen recording of any of the rooms. It is, I'll show you some screen recordings, but I'm not going to actually enter any rooms. But I will talk about it. And if you're interested in knowing how a room works, feel free to like follow, join. I will show you how to do that. And you can also follow me on Clubhouse as well. I would love to see you there. There are a few things that have changed, especially, <laughs> literally, we were talking about Clubhouse on my live with Leah Sparrow and the day, like literally as we were talking about it, some of the things changed. So the big thing that changed is this used to be invitation only. So you would have to know somebody's phone number and invite them, send them a text message, invite them using their phone number because that's how you sign up. And it actually changed because now it's open to the public. All you have to do is download the app. So when you go into the app store, it's going to look like this. Just download the app, sign up for an account and you are in. There's no, it's not invitation only. However, if somebody does invite you, you're going to see on their profile nominated by. So for example, if you go to my profile, you can see who I was nominated by. Paige is the one that gave me an invite code. You used to only get a couple of invite codes. She invited me and you can see that this is, you know, who invited me. That's still a feature if you were invited by somebody. So I guess if you want my name connected to you, <laughs> I can still send you an invite. If you want my name connected to you on your profile, send me a message and I'll send you the invite before you do it. But it's really not necessary anymore. All right, so I'm gonna screen record here. So the first thing that you're gonna see is what's going on right now. These are the rooms that I can join. Um, it tells you who's talking, how many people, you know, how many people are in there, how many people are talking. Um, and it tells you everything that's like going on in there. If I wanted to start a room for people to join, all I have to do is click this little green button down here that says start a room. But first, let's go over to the profile and show you how to set up a profile. So my profile is very basic. I actually don't use Clubhouse that much. Um, I have a lot of other things going on. <laughs> and don't, please do not feel the need to use every app. I am gonna be more active on Clubhouse. It's just something that I haven't been doing a lot. But here you can see how many followers I have and how many people I'm following. There's a little bio there. If you want to update your bio, just all you got to do is click on it and type it in. Like you don't have to go to settings or anything. You just click on what you want to change. Same thing with the profile picture. If I want to change my picture, I'm just going to change it. I'm just going to click on the picture and change it. You can also click on these icons here to connect your Instagram and Twitter. So if you're using any of those, I highly recommend that you connect those so that people can find you on those other platforms. I don't use Twitter. I don't like Twitter. So... That's just my personal preference. Like I said, don't feel obligated to use every social media platform. Twitter's not my jam, I don't use it. So you can see here, it tells me when I joined and who I was nominated by. If I clicked on her um, picture, it would take me to her page. And 
at the bottom underneath that you can also see what clubs I'm a member of. Now if I want to add a new club, I'm just going to come over here and click this plus sign. It used to be different. If you watch some of the other tutorials, they're going to show you something completely different. It's way easier. All you got to do is click that plus sign. It used to be in order to join a club, you had to apply for it using the link through the settings. You don't have to do that anymore. So I'm going to do a group that is for parents. I'm going to set this up here and I'm going to do um, so this group is going to be for parents to come in and talk, you know, um, and I'm going to add some topics. Let's see here. Uh, what topics do I want? I'm going to do life, pregnancy, parenting, grown-upping. <laughs> I like that. I like that grown-upping. I'm actually going to put over an education too. So I could add a photo. I don't have a photo ready, so I'll go back and I'll add that later. So I'll just create it. Now, um, if I want to invite some members, I can invite some members. And then I'll click done. Okay. So now, so later on, if I want to edit this, all I got to do is click on that parent connection um, where it says PC there. And I can upload a photo and choose a photo. And then as you see down here, it actually shows the photos. Um, that's you have so like I just started this room this is an online teacher success um, club so if you want to join that go ahead I literally just started it before this right now it doesn't have a picture it just says OS which kind of looks like out school so I should probably change that but you'll put you know you'll pick your icon to do that I'll make another tutorial showing you how to make an icon for the clubhouse app it's really cool really cool how you can do this okay say I want to share my profile in clubhouse all I got to do is click this up here and I, it will let me share it. it'll bring up the options to like send it through snapchat or telegram or text message or message like whatever messaging services you use I'm not going to click that because it's going to show you who I talk to and um, maybe some of their personal information like their first and last name so I'm not going to go ahead and do that if you click this little envelope icon here. Um, again, I'm not going to click it because it pulls up my phone contacts. It doesn't show their phone numbers, but it tells you like who I have in my phone. So I'm not going to do that. But if you click that, you can actually invite people from your phone list. So if you want to send them an invitation on Clubhouse, go ahead and do it. Don't just like send out random invitations though, because nobody wants a spam text from their friend. If you go over to the calendar, it's going to tell you different events that are happening so like here I can see like um uh, if I want to learn um if I want a 10 minute COVID update at noon there's a 10 minute COVID update so you know I can put a reminder on there and it's going to tell me it's going to give me a notification when this is starting if I want to start my own event I can do that as well and um I just click this little plus button up here in the corner. I can add a co-host or a guest if I want to. I can set up the time, the date, and I can also choose the host club. Put a little description in there telling people what it's about. I'm gonna look up Gary Vaynerchuk. Gary Vaynerchuk is all about, there we go, there he's on there. So now I wanna follow Gary V. If you guys aren't following Gary V, he's awesome. If you can tolerate swearing, um, He's not everybody's cup of tea, but I highly recommend Gary V. I love him. So go in there and now like, you know, I'm already following him, you know, boop. So I can follow him. It can also, you know, show me conversations about, I want to see conversations about hustle. All right. I want to learn how to do TikTok. So, um, maybe I want to search for TikTok. So, oh, look, I want to, you know, learn how to do TikTok. So I'm gonna follow this group and then I'm gonna be notified when they go live with something. And then you can also search. I'm an online teacher. Maybe I wanna market my online teaching business. So I wanna look up parenting. So I will look up, I'll join the parenting club. That looks like a fun one to join. Oop. <laughs> parenting, no! <laughs> We I didn't mean to do that. I think we all feel like that sometimes though. Again, anything that's in like your niche, anything that's in your, you know, what you're doing or what you're interested in. Maybe if you are going on a trip to, um, I don't know, like Disney, you might want to look up like a Disney club or something like that so you could talk about it. If you want to send a message to somebody, you can click on this little paper airplane thing there and it will send a message. I will just pick somebody that I'm following. I'm going to pick on Leah Sparrow. I'm going to say, you know, hello, I'm help. Hello, I'm 
just writing to you during my YouTube tutorial to show how it's done. I can't type, don't judge me. All right, boom. All right, so you can text, you can like message in this, but this is not meant for messaging really. So like if I wanted to message somebody something that I'm following and they're following me, I can go ahead and do that. So now once you are actually in the group, there are a couple of things that you might wanna know here. Um, you can't screen record. It will actually notify the host if you screen record. If you are the host, obviously you're, gonna not, you're not going to be on mute when you go in, but when you do join if you do join another room you're going to be on mute and in order to speak you're going to have to click the button to raise your hand you can use this in different ways you can use this to connect and network with either potential clients people that are looking for help services that you can provide to give them advice to talk about things that you can know that you know you can use it to learn from other people so if there are people that are in your um <clears throat> so if there are people that you look up to like i mentioned gary Vaynerchuk, talk if there are people like that you can use it to connect to people like that and just learn from them. It is really, really, really cool. I kind of relate it to, I kind of relate it to joining a podcast, but being able to participate. These aren't recorded. When you're done, you're done. You do have to use your real name on it. They won't allow you to like, you know, come up with like some other random name. They want to know who's on it. So if you enter the little gear box up there, it's going to, um, allow you to change your notification settings. It will allow you to change your interests, your payments. It will, the payment section is your audience can actually send you money. So like, say they wanna like give you a tip, you know, you provided them with such a great value, they wanna give you a tip, they can do that. If you want to enable that, you have to make sure that you have that set up in there. And when you go into pay, and when you go into payments, it's going to have you set it up and connect it to Stripe. All right, guys, I hope that this helped you. Again, Clubhouse is open and it's available to everybody. If you want me to send you an invite so you can be connected to me, showing that I nominated you, I'm more than willing to do that. Just shoot me a message, um, Jillian at koalateachers.com, and I can do that. If you have any questions, put them in the comment box. If there's anything else that you want to see about this, let me know. Hope to connect you with the Clubhouse. If you send me a follow, I will send you a follow back. And I will see you guys all next time. Bye, guys. So small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm going to be myself. Or I could be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes, I just wanna feel alive, it's just what I do when I'm out, so try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town, look at those beautiful stars, I wanna drive